So as you might know, Maddie and I have been working on RevNote for a few years now. And one of the most common questions, one of the biggest pain points that we get from students is, why is active recall and space repetition not working for me? Well, actually the most common question is, when is the RevNote iOS app coming out? But that's a different video, hashtag soon. But back to the main problem. You've been using active recall and space repetition for a while now. You've been reviewing the same topics, five, six, seven times, and it's still not clicking. Your flashcards are just piling up and your grades are still the same. Like, what gives? Are these really the best study techniques? Are Mike and Maddie just lying to people or are you just dumb? Is it your fault that it's not working? Well, let me just say you are not the problem, okay? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You got this. But there is a very big problem with active recall and space repetition, and that problem is the hype. There's so much hype about these study techniques, and I'll admit that Remno is part of the problem, but more on that later. To fully understand the extent of this problem, let me walk you through the average journey of a modern student on YouTube. YouTube is the new Wikipedia, and as such, many of us nowadays get our knowledge by consuming YouTube videos. So here you are, a motivated Padawan student, just looking for some study tips that'll help you get better grades. You go on YouTube and you search how do I study better or something like that? And all of a sudden you get bombarded with endless videos of all these study influencers talking about active recall and space repetition. It's as if every single study channel on YouTube has to have that obligatory how to study with active recall video. Why is that? Well, A, the YouTube algorithm loves that topic and B, the study influencers just wanna get views. It's plain and simple. Take it from us. Part of our marketing strategy at RemNote is to promote active recall and space repetition because that's what RemNote's all about. It's literally a flashcard app with space repetition. So now you, as a student, get caught up in all this. You see all the hype, you buy in, you commit to flashcards thinking that if you just stick to it, you'll be promised the grades you deserve. And that's the problem right there. Active recall and space repetition are really some of the best study techniques that you can use, but you gotta realize that it's not the full picture. The Mike and Maddie map nicely summarizes our study philosophy on this channel. There are two steps to learning, understanding and remembering. First, you gotta get the info into your brain by understanding it. Then you retrieve the info from your brain by remembering it. The info goes in while you're reading or in lecture. The info comes out during the test when you need to apply it. It's pretty simple, right? Well, active recall and space repetition are the best techniques for remembering and reinforcing your knowledge. But the problem is many students put too much emphasis on remembering and spend no time actually trying to understand the information. You need to hit both. If you rush through the understanding phase and jump straight to making flashcards before you understand the concepts, then A, you're going to have thousands and thousands of flashcards, and B, those flashcards are gonna be super low quality. You need to spend more time understanding the concepts. To use an analogy, if you're using RemNote, it'd be like spending all your time reviewing flashcards and not enough time understanding the info using tags, references, graph view, and the hierarchy. Now, the reverse is also true. If you spend all your time just trying to understand the concepts, you're not going to remember the details because some things just need to be memorized. For example, in medicine, we just have to memorize the names of all those drugs and medications. You have to memorize equations or grammar rules or laws and dates. Like whatever subject you study, there's always something that you have to remember. So that is the big problem right there, that you're just oversold on active recall and space repetition being the god tier saviors of your grades and you forget that learning is a process. So what is the solution to this problem? Well, the solution is to follow the Mike and Maddie map. I know it can be overwhelming to think about learning how to learn when you're already drowning in all this other schoolwork. So our goal with this map is to package everything we know about studying, the strategies, methods, and techniques for both phases of learning and present it to you in a way that's easy to apply. So we'll definitely be putting out a lot more videos on each of these individual topics, and we'll also be releasing a brand new study course on Skillshare version 2.0 in the coming year. So be sure to subscribe and be notified when they drop. And in the spirit of Skillshare, our new study course will be free for you to watch, just like all our other ones, if you sign up using one of our special links. So yeah, we have a lot of cool stuff on the roadmap. But for those of you who want answers and solutions right now, if you're still frustrated and you want to know what you can do today to get back on track, 
Then I'll leave you with three tips to start. The first thing you can do is improve your flashcards. You might be one of those students who went all in on spaced repetition and now you're sitting on like 5,000 Remnote or Anki flashcards and you feel really behind. Well, it's time to clean up your flashcard game. Consolidate related cards, eliminate redundant cards, and just make better flashcards overall. We've gone over 10 tips to help you make amazing flashcards, which you can check out right here or in the description below. The next thing you can do is to improve the structure of your material. You can start by improving the structure of your flashcards by making sure that they have the appropriate tags and links. Unlike Anki, where you're just trying to memorize tons and tons of standalone flashcards, Remnote actually provides you with a structured hierarchy, so you can actually see how all your flashcards fit into the big picture. You can see the entire forest instead of getting lost in the trees. But structuring isn't limited to just flashcards. You can see in the Mike and Maddie map that structuring is the general strategy you want to use to approach understanding information. This means categorizing information, mind mapping, borrowing other people's frameworks, whatever it takes for you to make sense of that information. And also check out our tea tree video here or in the description if you're looking for an easy way to learn how to structure. And the third thing you can do is reduce the amount of times you need to review a flashcard. If you're familiar with spaced repetition, the whole idea is that each subsequent time you review a topic, it should get easier and easier. You should be able to recall the info quicker. You should be able to space out the amount of time between reviews. But this third tip I have for you is that you can actually reduce the amount of times you need to review something. According to the science of memory, the first time you learn something, you tend to forget it very quickly, like within a day. But the next time you review it, you've reinforced it. So it takes a little longer for you to forget. Then the next time you review, it takes even longer to forget. The question I always asked myself was, how many times do I need to review something for it to get to this stage, where it takes a really long time to forget it? This was the wrong question to ask. The real question is, how do I flatten this curve as soon as possible so that I don't need to review it multiple times? How do I make it so that right off the bat, it takes a long time to forget? While some students might need to review a topic three, four, or five times before it really sticks, I might need only review it once or twice, just by using this one special technique. And if you want to learn more about this technique, then definitely check out this video right here.